How to edit this intro template? First, go and download it from the description below. Then, when you have a downloader, find it in your download folder or wherever your downloaded files end up. Now, unzip it. I'm using WinRAR to unzip it, but you can use whatever software you want. Just extract it to the same place and double click the intro template folder. Double click it again. As you can see, there are some different stuff here, so I'm just going to quickly go over what they are. This is a effect. This is the song. This is an effect. This is the Blender file. This Don't mind that. That's the font. Make sure to install that. That's the readme file. Make sure to read that if you're going to use it in a video. <coughs> this is the effect, and this is the last effect. Now, go ahead and open the Blender file here. And as you can see here, when you get in, you have a text here and you can hold the middle mouse button to move around. If you have the Pepsi font installed, you should and have the font like this. If you don't, just right click one of the texts, go over here and open the Pepsi font like that. And then repeat that for the other texts. If the, if the font is already right, you can go ahead and edit the text by pressing tab. Rem press backspace to remove all the texts and then type uh, something that your name is. The uh, maybe. For example, just. And just right click on the text to select them and then repeat it for all of the text. So now that you have done that. You can go ahead and jump into compositing mode by pressing this little button up here and then press compositing. Drag over here and scroll up on these five nodes. The first one is an effect, so you will press the X and press open and select the sparkle 36. Set the frames to 269 and don't mind the other ones. Press the X on the second one, which is a shockwave, and then open, and select the, select the shockwave, set the frames to 100, set the starting frame to 89, and then go on to the third one, which is also a shockwave. Press X, press open, and then open the shockwave too, set the, start, set the frames to 100, and set the starting frame to 162. For the third one is the flare, so press X, press open, and select the flare and set the frames to 269. Now for the last one, press the X here and then press open, select 0048 and select 100 on the frames and starting frames set it to 89. Make sure the cyclic is selected here. If it is, then you're all done. Otherwise, just press it to select it. Now, go back into the default view and press the camera here to go into the render settings. Now, you will find here that it says, it says here that it's full HD, but it's only 50%, so if you want it full HD, you drag that up to 100%. Now scroll down. Here you will find your output folder, so select where you want it to end up and then press accept. AVI JPEG is the format. If you want another format, then you can go ahead and select that, but, but I would recommend AVI JPEG. Scroll down a little more to sampling here and set the render samples between 50 and 500, depending on how good you want it to look and how long you would like to wait for it to be done. Then you scroll up to the top again and press animation to render it. I hope you enjoyed this template and tutorial, and I will hope you to see you in the next video. If you like this, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you need any help, please comment below and I will reply as fast as I can. See you in the next video, bye! <laughs>